first came to to uh, to the competition, there's workshops, and then there's a competition, and then the judging. And for tap was Henry Latang. So I came in. The first thing I noticed was uh, he had a piano, which I had never seen before or after anyone with a with a piano teacher. And this, the everything about it was a different style. The type of steps, the um, the the pace of the of the class, the the the. The, the overall feeling and the format, everything was different. At the end of the competition, they gave out scholarships, and I received a, a full scholarship. So in the morning, I would I would take the ballet, and then afternoon I would start with Henry. And so I would go to his studio. The the, the group lessons, which were very different, uh, because Henry would come in, and he would go to each person, and ask what number they were on. He would come over and take your hand and he would show you the step, a few measures, and then he would move on. He would say, okay, work on this. And he'd go to the next person, maybe they're on a different routine, do the same process. He would go through the studio, uh, all the students a few times, and each time he would, uh, at the end of class, he would go to the piano and he'd go through the routines that those particular students were working on. Uh, I did spend 18 years studying from Henry. Uh -oh. Good, two, uh, three, uh, four, uh, one, and two, ball change, ball change, ball change, ball change, ball change, ball lap shuffle, ball change, ball change. And for a long time, uh, you had uh, different types of dances for different genders, and Henry was uh, a part of this time, this time, uh, in which the girls, the ladies, and the boys and the gentlemen had different styles, sometimes completely different dances. The, the, the ladies to dance like ladies, but not weak. And you can tell a strong female uh, tap dancer may or probably has Henry Latang training because the style is very feminine and yet very strong. And one of the things that he was very strict on is that the ladies all wear high heels. started with number one and went along and it wasn't just that each routine built upon uh, the previous one but it also revealed uh, 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 different aspects of your tap team. This is Henry Latang, which means we have to think about where the feet are, yes, we have accents and we also have the arms sometimes the head, the hands, is the total package. Yes. And, um, and in fact, I have several tapes of, of him playing and before he would introduce each song and say, uh, um, for instance, you know, this routine is for the girls to develop their style. And his... Ready, go! One uh, uh, that is uh, uh, for the ladies. There, uh, there's one that's specifically for for movement. Um, there's there's one for uh, uh, cut time, which is two four time. There's one in waltz time. Um, uh, there's uh, different tempos. There's slower, medium, fast, and very fast. So, uh, uh, and the idea was. By the end, you will have received a comprehensive, a full tap education.